Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Apple Manager. Today, we're having a look at the monster race moment where you'll be playing as Ferrari, fighting Red Bulls for the win. The reason why I chose to do the race moment is because, uh, as some of you might know, my hard drives both commuted, uh, you know, die. They didn't uh, want to uh, play with me anymore, and I had to kind of replace them. I lost all my settings. I've tried to recover them. Can't find anything that can actually get into the hard drives to recover anything, really, so they are pretty much fully dead, both of them. I did have backups on each drive, but since both of them died, that kind of, you know, makes that point moot. So uh, it sucks, but I'm currently trying to find a good middle ground for my uh, audio again, which is going to be a horrible, horrible adventure. Let's be honest. So we'll see what we can do with that. Now we're going to be jumping into Monster here, and the goal is going to be very simple. Ferrari fight back. Either driver must finish higher than second. So basically, we're going to be playing from lap 15. Sainz had his bit of a lockup. Verstappen overtook him. And as you can see in the background here, just barely, we have both Sainz and Leclerc kind of trying to follow him. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, go full attack. I assume they have a little bit extra fuel, so we'll be going push as well. And we'll be having a quick look at what we can do strategy-wise to make this into a, uh, you know, a win. So what I assume is that we're going to be going for either hard or medium or soft, depending on what we do here. I don't know how bad the bad the degradation is going to be, but judging by what I'm seeing here versus what I'm seeing here, I'd expect by, yeah, this is probably what we're going to need to pit uh, for the hard time, maybe even a lap earlier. Could be good. And honestly, I think the medium is going to be better here. But before we make a, you know, final decision, let us go ahead and have a look at the... Uh, report for the tires here so softs are about two tenths quicker than the mediums same for medium to hard and the gradation for both tires are 200 which makes this incredibly simple softs are better than medium for about 10 laps mediums are better than hards for about the well same and soft to hard is the actually the same again just about 10 laps in terms of what we have available of tires let's have a quick look at that too we have some used uh, softs some used the mediums and one set of fresh hards is that the same for signs? It looks like it. So potentially here, we could do a bit of a silly one, uh, going say hard hard. But I think this is going to be the better option because again, we're just going to be on these mediums for about fourteen laps if we do it like this. Uh, so I think that is going to be the better, op better option. We're just going to be, comp uh, you know, copying Leclerc's homework here over to signs, and uh, kind of deal with it in that manner. So let's get back into this and see what we can do. So currently I'd say the goal is just to stay with the Rebels for this stint. Um, if we can potentially go a little bit top up, recharge would be nice. So I'm going to put both of our cars on top up for a few laps here because if we're going to overtake the Sappen, we're going to have to do it in a manner that allows us to get away from him. If we can't get away from the stopper, we're just going to be pulling him along. Which is uh, what I assume is going to happen here. So the stopper is going to do a one stopper at this point. So he's going to be finishing the race on the hards. And we need to be creating a gap on, the, well, our second and, well, this first and two if we can. So that we don't end up, as I said, pulling him along. That's kind of what we really, really, really want to avoid here. Now, Sainsei is actually getting the overtake done. But if we can just hold him up and say have Leclerc get into the mix as well, then we could potentially have a scenario here where we can actually have, uh, say, Leclerc or Sainz, depending on who's ahead, hold the Stappen up. And that would actually be kind of funny in its own right. So let's see now what we can do with Sainz. Um, I'm thinking the plan is going to be, as I said, just to get him by as quickly as possible. We are in the optimal lap of hitting, but I think we can push them for one more lap or so. Um, honestly, yeah, what we can do is have science go up ahead by deploying energy. And now that we are ahead, we're going to put him back to neutral. We're going to go balance. We're kind of going to sacrifice science here, which is a bit unfortunate because he did start first. But what we're going to tell him to do now is to go always defend and high overtake aggression. And we're going to be pitting Leclerc onto a hard set of tires. 
and the goal here is going to be of course very very simple we're going to be trying to okay we need to put him to uh rarely defend again uh that kind of backfired immediately but yeah the goal here is as i said we're just going to try and use science to kind of hold up Verstappen as much as possible and uh by doing so potentially putting ourselves in a bit of a better position on uh Leclerc in this case. So science is going to be fighting a little bit back and forth. It's going to, you know, be hurting his tires. But the goal, of course, is, as I said, just to hold up Verstappen as much as possible on these laps. So you could say it's a team game. You could say I'm a very, you know, rude to science there by juggling always defend on and off. He did immediately get re-overtaken though, so it's a bit of a, bit of a, you know, nasty one, if you will. Stappen gets DRS on the straight here. Uh, we do have just two or so more laps now until we need to... Uh, still running Leclerc on top up. That's not great. We, still, we only have a couple of laps here now where we can actually, as I said, go with the defense before we need to pit. But staying out for two more laps here for science is doable. And currently... As you can see, they are running about a second and a half slower than uh, than the rest of the field, so to speak. So Science is definitely doing his job here of slowing uh, the sap and down. Looks like just 20 seconds behind now. So as long as he can pull this off, we are going to be very, very happy. Although we are probably going to need to pit him at the end of this lap uh, for obvious reasons, running out of tire. Um, we also saw other cars pitting as well, so. I think we are going to give that order. We're going to be pitting him at the end of this lap. We could do... Well, we can't really, but it would be very fun to do so. Do three sets of mediums. But yeah, we're going to be pitting him on this lap. And I think we're going to be seeing the stopping come in with us. Okay, we didn't. So potentially we could have hold, held him up a little bit longer. We didn't. Um, it's on us, really. But what this means is that Science now is going to have potential for doing that again uh, basically taking the stappen and just holding him up so we want to get these tires up to temperature we also want to slow down Leclerc he's been pushing really really hard uh, we want to get these tires up to temperature like so and then we just want the now we just wanted to run where he is because again the goal here now for signs is going to be playing the team game honestly Leclerc should have been the one that we kind of forced to play this team game let's be honest um, but in the current situation, it has uh, that duty has fallen onto uh, that duty has fallen onto science, and uh, it's probably the best way to do this in terms of you know getting the objective done. Is it going to be you know amazing for from a long term perspective? Probably not, but it is how I have opted for getting this done. And Verstappen is still staying out on those tires, so. We're getting close now, just 11 seconds behind. We're getting very, you know, making this more and more viable. Science is about 20 seconds behind. So I'd say at this point, with even Perez potentially being able to hold up the Stappen, that uh, we have played the game correctly. So Science in this strategy is, of course, again, going to be the always defend guy. But we could just keep him running as he is right now. Um, Stappen did come out behind Science, uh, sorry, not Science Paris, which gives us even more of a, you know, power move. And we are going to be keeping Science out on these tires till the end. That's going to be the play here. Currently, we're running 123.6s. Paris is uh, running a tad slower than that. So even now, Leclerc is still extending that gap. But the 14 seconds is probably not going to be enough, honestly. We probably need 16, 17. To make it really viable and uh, we're going to be lapping sorry pitting around lap 40 i think so it's still very viable don't get me wrong but uh, we might need to uh, have a bit more luck on our side to make this happen but we shall see Currently though, we are getting close to the point where, you know, Science is going to be the roadblock again. So we'll give him the... He's actually still running always defend. 
Okay, so he's already the roadblock. Did actually lose out there immediately. So we'll tune him up. And we'll have him run with the Staff and Emperors. And as that potentially cause a little bit of chaos when he can. So the goal here now is going to be to, you know, have him overtake. And then we will put him to always defend if he can pull it off. He did. And it is a very cheesy strategy, don't get me wrong. This isn't how I would usually do this, but the rebels are quick, that's the thing. And that is something that we need to acknowledge and figure out how to deal with in a good manner. Right now, science is running, you know, a little bit further down. But that should still be fine. Ghastly, I don't think he held us up anything, you know, massively there. But as you see, um, Leclerc still gaining half a second, seven tenths each lap, so... Paris and Sainz, they are keeping Verstappen honest. And again, Verstappen is the main concern here. We have gained those 17 seconds. Uh, I think Leclerc is looking really, really, you know, viable now to make this happen. We can potentially also have something, you know, get something done here with Sainz too. He is running with the Red Bulls. Uh, Paris is also holding up the stop and everything is looking very, very promising at this point. Well, Leclerc, I think we're going to stretch him to lap 40. I think that's fine. Although the stop is gaining slightly right now. So, lapping, lapping, <laughs> hitting this lap is probably going to be advisable. But we need to remember these tires already are slightly used. So let us stretch the pit stop by one more lap. And although that might be not be, as I said, advisable, particularly with the stopper now gaining uh, gaining a huge amount of time, I think we're going to be switching it back to this lap. Did like, get a little bit of DRS self time, probably, but at the same time, don't want to take any risks. Let's get Leclerc in. And it should come out ahead of both Mercs. They'd also have a pit stop error here. Let's see if we can still, you know, make something happen even with that. So, uh, currently we're 8 seconds behind. We have 12 laps to go. Once these tires have temperature, which they are, I don't think we'll have any any problems. And the goal is going to be a 1-2 here. Science is kind of just running behind as, uh, you know, a bit more of a security at this point. But we also do need to recharge Leclerc's fuel reserves at one point. Because if we do not, we're going to be in even bigger trouble. Uh, it's five seconds behind right now. We are gaining less than a second each lap. So Verstappen is rapid right now. And again, the fuel is going to be a concern. We're probably going to have to res uh, conserve maybe three laps. So I'd really like to get into this DRS train and then work from there. But Magnussen show they're getting into a point now where they might actually be uh, a bit helpful here to Verstappen. Yellow flag, Lawson with a bit of a lockup. Uh, we have caught up basically at this point, I think. So even if we turn to, you know, recharge the, the battery, so to speak, it should be okay. We can just kind of chill at this point. But I'd like to see, uh, particularly here, signs start making some moves so this that's fine for him for Leclerc as well we don't want him to overtake just yet so there's no need for us to put him onto a more aggressive overtake mode and as you can see Verstappen is now creating a bit of a gap so we are going to have to push fuel and we are going to have to deploy here I think with signs on this main straight now to just get by Paris and then start chasing down the staff in here, potentially with both cars, if they can, you know, line it up, so to speak. Couldn't really get both cars through, but we're going to keep on deploying with signs. We're going to put him on attack now. Should be okay to run attack till the end at this stage, I would hope. And the goal here is, of course, going to be to have signs break the DRS to Paris. It's probably going to take a lap or two to pull that off. But by breaking the DRS, it should be possible to make it really easy for Leclerc to get his overtake done, particularly since he doesn't have energy at the current moment. Well, not energy, sorry. Doesn't have fuel, is what I meant to say. So yeah, let us have Leclerc now go onto high overtake mode as well. 
As you can see, there is a gap formed. He is already doing the overtake. And there we are. Both Ferraris now in attack position. So it's science there. Uh, him having energy and all. He should be able to just get the overtake done. Tune him down to neutral. Tune his energy used to, well, fuel used to balanced. And if we really want to be cheeky here now, we can actually have him do the always defend. Because we still have a couple laps to play with. Have him slow uh, the and down a little bit. Give Leclerc the chance to catch up. And honestly, as science now with the DRS LP could potentially just go for getting away. But even that is going to be a bit, uh, a bit problematic, I think. So it's questionable what is the best thing to do here, honestly. We could have science just sort of try and run away. Which honestly is uh, what I'm kind of, uh, you know, leaning towards at this stage. But I do want to try and get a 1-2. And to make that happen, we're going to actually have Science here kind of sacrifice himself a little bit. In order to have Leclerc close that gap. And he, he has at this point. So put his defend approach back to neutral. And for Leclerc here, it's, uh, well, we should have put him to always attack a bit earlier. And we'll also be putting him to high aggression, which he already is. Let's deploy, push fuel, and we'll see now if he can get close enough to launch an attack on the Verstappen here. Because we have already left Paris behind. And for science here, we're going to put him to to rarely defend, so that he just doesn't lose lap time. Leclerc though, fuel uh, is a bit of an issue there. I did go a little bit uh, too wild on it. But he is on the inside of Verstappen. And he should be able to eke himself ahead, which he has. So, right now, we'll make sure that we put both of them to a low overtake aggression. So that they do not, you know, murder each other by accident. And we'll be putting both their energy usage back to neutral. For Leclerc here, we're going to actually conserve a little bit. And we actually have a puncture here running ahead of us with the, the Williams there, I think. Sergeant there has actually punctured... And it's causing a little bit of mayhem. Uh, actually held up the staff in quite a bit. So that did benefit us. We have another back marker here holding up Leclerc. But that kind of did take the uh, the entire final fight out of this, honestly. What, of what otherwise was a very good race, let's be honest. Could have been a lot more fun. Okay, fuel has been recharged. We're just going to keep both of them as they are. Uh, honestly, I feel like science deserves this victory a tad bit more than Leclerc. He did start on pole after all. So we are going to allow him to, to do just that with the one stopper versus the two stopper. Both work here. One, two ahead of the uh, Red Bulls. Yeah. Curtis here with a little bit of help there from Sergeant at the end. But uh, yeah, we did it. Not bad. That was nice. But yeah, uh, hopefully the microphone is not too shabby. I'll probably be adding a few more things like a the ESSA, which basically means that my sharp S sounds aren't going to be as bad. Now, wasn't that and some other things as we go. But yeah, we did complete the challenge here, one, two with Ferrari. And as I said, uh, this mainly just so that I can test how the microphone works under a kind of full recording session where I am moving my head around, where everything is kind of going everywhere, where I might get a little bit low, a little bit high in terms of volume. Uh, it's just easy to test it like this. And as I said, feel free to come with your suggestions to the audio. That's mainly what this is. But yeah, we pulled off the race moment fairly easily here, one, two, and uh, we can be happy with that. If you have enjoyed this video, even with my ravings about my audio, feel free to like and subscribe, as it helps me out a ton. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.